What's up guys? Um, today I'll do the question and answer video that I was going to do. So I answer some of you guys questions that you guys want to ask me. So first off, um, I'll answer Sammy Silk's question, which is out of all characters, why did you pick Lee? That's a good question, Mr. Sammy Silk. Um, the reason why I played Lee was because um, I always thought Lee was pretty cool. Plus, um, back in the day, one of my friends used to play Lee in Tekken 4. And um, I thought Lee was really cool. He was like a childhood friend. He played Lee. I'm still friends with that dude, by the way. And um, I used to play Lee in Tekken 4 and Tekken 2 and um, Tag 1 and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I always found Lee to be really cool. And um, I started to play Tekken competitively in Tekken 5. Tekken 5 was the game I started playing Tekken competitively. And um, I was trying to figure out a character um, to to play in Tekken 5. Because I used to play Hachi, Kazuya, Paul, all kinds of different shit. So I was playing all types of different characters. Mishima's mostly in Paul and stuff. I decided the main Lee in Tekken 5 was because, um, one, I thought he was really cool. Two, I saw a combo video that some guy named Seidei made from Long Island, which I thought was dope. And um, also, nobody really played Lee, and nobody in my scene was playing Lee. Like, Lee was just a character nobody played. So um, that's why I wanted to play Lee, too, because nobody played him whatsoever. So it kind of felt cool being like the only person playing that character at that time. So that's pretty much the reason why I play Lee. Plus, I like how how he looked and his speed and shit. Plus that nobody played him. So nobody thought he was good. That's why people ain't playing him. So that's why I played Lee at the end of the day. Um, okay, Mr. Next question. Mr. Mashari Algetami. He asked, hi there, GM. My question is, what makes Tekken a difficult game to get good at? Grants on a new milestone. I'm a huge fan. Thank you very much, Mr. Mashari Algatami. Thank you very much. What makes Tekken hard is just, um, well, Tekken 7 is pretty easy to play, but um, people tend to have trouble when it comes to the fundamentals of the game. Mostly movement, because everybody could like do combos and do moves and stuff like that, but a lot of people struggling struggle of how to backdash cancel went to sidewalk and things of that nature so that's what makes Tekken difficult for most people just the movement aspect you know but that's basically what makes Tekken difficult to me and also knowing when to use your move when to change your timing how to adapt to your opponents learning how to deal with gimmicks is really hard too because you know, the only way to deal with gimmicks is pretty much labbing it going into practice mode and learning the frames Tekken, at the end of the day, Tekken is just a lot of stud, uh, studying. You have to study a lot. The more you know, the better you do. So, I don't think it's too hard, you know? You just need to study, like studying for exam at school or something, or anything in life that you want to be good at. Just remember things, and, you know, learn as you go, man. Learn as you go. Learn your risk-reward ratios. You know, take your losses here and there and learn from them. And you'll get better at the end of the day. All right, let's go to the next question. Let's see the next question. Mr. Reed. Oh, let's let's answer Young Kura Kami's question. Yo, what's up, GM? I always want to ask you, what's been the most memorable tournament win for you in your Tekken career? That's a hard one. This is a lot of ones. Uh, probably... Final round 2011 when I beat Anakin with the Acid Storm. That was great because that was like my first real big tournament win. And winning final round, if you win final round for Tekken, that means you're nice pretty much. Like Plus, I went there by myself on a bus. That shit was like 18 hours on the bus. So winning that tournament was um very, very um important. That was a big one. And um, Defender North, uh, I think it was last year for Tekken 7 also. Beating JCR because that was the first time I ever beat him. And beating him and defending New York was amazing. Also, my LMG run was really great. Um, a lot of my tag two wins, Tekken 6. Uh, let me see. A lot of, there's a lot of tournaments, man. There's too much, but those are the tournaments that come to mind. For real. Also, when I went to Chicago for combo break and I won and things like that. 
What's good, Rail? Okay, really? Wow. What's good, GM? What would you say is the most difficult opponent you've ever faced? That's a hard one. There's a lot of them, man. Uh, Home Man, me, Fab. Um, it's a lot, man. Anakin, Mr. Naps. A lot, a lot, man. There's too too many names to mention, man. But I think out of all those names, I think Home Man is the most difficult. He's like, he makes you feel, at least for me, it made me feel like, damn, man. Like, what can you do? But J JDCR and me is OD, too. They, they like, super-duper crazy good. Okay, tell me more about these Korean... Okay, Konzik. Konzinov. Maverick. Tell me about these dudes you learned the game from. And what's the best advice you could give to someone that wants to improve his level at Tekken? Um... About these Korean dudes. This is this from Kazuri Maverick? Well, Home Man and Rain when they came to New York, which was like in, like in 2011, like 2011, right? So they came like in 2011, and no, it was like 2010, 2011, yeah, in New York, and they taught me a lot. Um, they mostly taught me about timing, and a delay catch, which is changing your timing. To make it move track when somebody sidewalks, you wait a little bit and then you adjust your timing, or you adjust your timing on your pokes to, you know, get more counter hit, you know, more counter hits and more baits and stuff like that. So they told me a lot, and also about movement and spacing. How you don't need to win just by doing mix-ups. You can win by using movement and changing your timing. That's a way to win in Tekken. Besides just the, the generic American way of just guessing and mix-ups. So that's good advice that I learned from them. And the best advice that I could give somebody from to get good at Tekken, get your movement up, learn all your matchups, learn all the gimmicks, learn your risk reward ratios, and take your time in the match, man. Adapt as the match goes. Take the risk when you need to, make the read when you need to, and just study your opponents, man. You can learn something from everybody, man. That's the best advice I could give you. Pretty much just learn everything that you can. All right, the next question is from Break the Yaguda. What is tournament ready GM like? What do you like to do when you are preparing to take part in a tournament? What is your mindset when you're about to go into a game? What does it feel like to be sharp and ready to play? Hmm, that's a good question. Basically, I just stay confident, man. Don't get too nervous, man. Just play. You know what I'm saying? Don't think too much. That's not at least what I do. I just adapt as the match goes on in the tournament setting. That's all you could do, man. Just just adapt, stay confident. You know what I'm saying? I tend not to play casuals too much before the tournament. You know, just play, man. Just play and see what happens, man. That's all you can do in the tournament, man. It's two games, man. Two games is rough, but if you can, if you can adapt to it, you should be all right, man. Two out of three, man. But that's all, man. I don't really, like, get ready for a tournament. I'll practice before a tournament, like, sessions and stuff. But you just got to be confident, man. Just remember the things in a matchup and just adapt to whoever you're playing with, man. Against, I mean. That's all, man. So just keep practicing. Always stay sharp and stay confident. That's the that's the best way to, you know what I'm saying? Safety is the best thing in tournaments, man. Play as safe as possible and take risks when you have to and just adapt as the set goes on. Okay, new question. Sprotus. I'm, relative new, I'm relatively new to Tekken. I've been putting hard focus on fundamentals. My Korean backdash is solid and I'm very patient and defensive player. Do you have any recommendations for improving fundamentals and dealing with button mashers? Mm. Learn how to step characters and learn how to learn characters ranges so you know how to make moves with and when to backdash and when to step. You know what I'm saying? The best way to deal with button mashers is just to let them just let them beat themselves, man. They most of the time they always overextend, so that gives you a situation where you can sidewalk. Or backdash out of or block something or sneak into a counter hit. One thing I learned about people that just mash and sit there and guess all day. Like even if you have a counter hit character. It's not the best thing to keep to just mash back and forth with them. It's not. So because they're going to just keep sitting there and mashing and guessing all day. And you mashing back is also a risk because they could end up like launching you with Duggan or some shit. You know. Like I said man. Just learn the ranges. When to sidewalk. Space them out. Patience. Patience is great. 
man, just let them beat themselves, man. You sneak a counter hit him there and stuff, but don't mash back with them, man. Just let them beat themselves. That's all. That's that's pretty much the best advice, man, I can give you. Okay, Mika Wu. Mika Wu, what's a good fast move that tracks Sasa L but so it's down back forward to use daily in a match? You know, slides, slide works to the left. And one plus two because it's a homing move and back four on a hitman. Lee don't really have stuff that tracks to the left. You could delay your pokes, like wait till they start walking and down for one or dash up down for one or, you know, wait and then stand in three. Silvertail tracks pretty well from a distance. They could sidewalk it left up close, but from a distance it's too hard to step. So stuff like that, you could stop people from sidestepping or long range scroll works too. One two works too that works to stop left or magic four 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 four, but in general you mostly want to use homing moves and delaying your attacks. Mister Super Unsafe, Sub GM Pokemon Red or Blue, Pokemon Crystal, that's my favorite one. I do I did play Red and Blue a lot, but Crystal was my joint. GM, my question is, what do you think USA is missing from becoming next level Tekken players? And do you have a favorite American player? This is from Magic Don. USA players, they missing the fund of, they missing movement. Mostly movement and they spacing. I think USA players, they rely too much on hard reads, buttons, and mix-ups. Where international players focus on the whole thing. So that's what US player lack. Less mashing, more movement, waiting, and poking, and taking their time. Do I have a favorite American player? I don't really watch any streams or nothing like that, so I can't really tell you I have a favorite American player. Maybe when I started playing Tekken, I had a couple of America, uh, favorite American players. I can't remember who was my favorite American player when I was growing up, but I had somebody. I just I just can't remember who it was or who I used to look up to. I think it may be Mist from Japan. I used to like him and like help me and shit like that. I thought it was pretty cool. When I started to play lead back in the day. So that's that's a good one. Another guy, Leo Severus. How long does it take you to learn matchups in Tekken 7? I seem to forget how plus or minus certain moves are in Tekken when I play against characters. That's good. That's that's a good question, man. I think some characters like Huaran and like Lei Wu Long. Any like weird stringy stance mix of characters, those characters I also have a hard time remembering this stuff because it's too hard to practice against them. They have way too many moves and their move set is like really complicated. So I think the best thing to remember is probably just remember their key moves and just keep practicing against the certain key moves that everybody uses with those certain characters. So like example, like Dragon Off down to Nina down back three, Paul Deathus. Stuff like that. So just remember the key moves and remember how to punish them and deal with them. That's basically. Or what I do, just go through the whole move list and just re learn all the frames and just keep doing it, doing it to your brain registers and in your head, all of that. And you also ask, how do you stop flow charting? Flow charting is, you just got to learn the timing of the flow charting. It might take a little while, but just keep them out space and poke them up. And just late, wait to see what they do, and then you should be able to counter it. Flow charting is at the end of the day, you will you're gonna adapt to it once you just don't run into it and just take your time and you know what I'm saying? And just see what they do, man. The the slower you take the match, the more you learn. Somebody called Orif Writer. How long does it you do you how long do you feel it takes to be really decent player at Tekken 7? I think Tekken 7 is a lot easier to play any other Tekken games. You know, especially if you use, like, one of the better characters in the game. As long as you have good combos, um, you have a decent flow chart, um, you're aggressive, and you have enough hard reads, I think you'll be pretty decent at Tekken. If you know how to use, you know, rage arts, armor moves, and rage drives, you'll be pretty decent. You know, I think that's why most people are decent at Tekken 7, because they know how to abuse the offense, because the game is an offensive game. Well, to be at the next level, you need to have more than that. But you will beat the majority of the people um, by playing that way. Okay, so one guy asked me, what does your life look outside of Tekken? Captain Falcon. 
me, man, I enjoy all types of shit, man. You know, chill with my girlfriend, man. I love movies. I love traveling. I love eating. I play all kinds of different games. So I like all kinds of shit, man. Anything. Music, wrestling, whatever. I like everything, man. I like all types of shit, man. I only don't play Tekken, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's the answer to your question. GM, please post some more anti-match strategy. We sure will do, man. Definitely will post more anti-strategy as, you know, I just got to learn season four because there's still a lot of stuff I don't know about season four. I need to study a lot more. I'll tell you that much. And uh, one guy asked me, Fox Steve, down four two or four four four. What's better? Four 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 is better. High crush, full combo on regular hit. You know what I'm saying? So that's Fox Steve's question. So that's it for this video, man. I hope it. I hope y'all liked it. I'll do another question to answer once I reach another milestone. So thanks everybody for watching, and peace out.